Hello everyone, we are Adutab. Welcome all our viewers. Today we are going to give uh, shed some light on the topic time value of money. Numerical is often the cause of worry for most of the candidates in RBI phase 2 exam in the finance section. And rightly so, because around 19 marks of paper in 2016 in the finance section was based on numerical. So one must worry about how to attempt numericals and one should have good control over the numerical. The purpose of this video is to help you discover the different type of numerical that can be asked from the topic time value of money. Last year around 2 marks worth of numerical were asked from this topic. But what is more important is that this topic is based for understanding numerical on other topics, especially the numerical on bond. So if you do not know the basic concept of time value of money then it is not possible to attempt or rather understand the numerical on the bond section. Well, to cover this topic, we have made two PDF files which will help you understand the topic time value of money. First one is the PDF which is basically covering the basic theory plus the examples or illustrations related to that theory. And second one, since most of the people are interested in doing numericals, we have made a second PDF which is only covering the numerical part. So in this second document, what we will be doing is, we would be covering only the numerical part. So to explain you, first we will start with the first document, what we have covered in the first document. So in this document, we cover the introduction of time value of money, what does it mean. Then we cover what is the importance or reasons for which time value of money needs to be understood. Like what, what are its usage in daily life. And then we cover that up with examples like example 1 and example 2 here. Then what we will do is we will cover some basic valuation concepts of interest and principal which will set the base for time value of money. And what is more important to know here is that we will discuss two important concepts. First one is compounding techniques to find future value of money. And the second one is discounting techniques that is finding present value of money. These are two very important techniques or the subsections that you need to understand. And most probably in exam you will get a question on one of these topics. So I'll not go in detail about this first document. It's basically most of the theory plus we have covered some numericals that will help you understand about this topic. I'll move on to the second document which is basically only concerned about the numerical part. So in this document as I said we are only covering the numericals. We take a step by step approach to help you understand better. We start with basic numerical and keep on increasing the difficulty level. In total while doing this topic we cover around it in 25 numericals. So you will get around 25 numericals to practice on this topic. And before I explain further what numericals we have covered in this topic so I like to tell you that in case you have any question you can connect with us on the following on the Facebook uh, there is a page for Adutap you can become a member of that there is a group also you can post your queries you can visit our blog rpigradebeat.wordpress.com uh, you can go to our site www.adutap.co.in you can register on that site and you can get 
फ्री मटीरियल ऑल्सो विद रिस्पेक्ट टू आर बी आई फेस टू एग्जाम देर इज अ चैनल बाय द नेम मेडोटा ऑन यूट्यूब वी हैव अपलोडेड सम वीडियोज दैट यू कैन व्यू विद रिस्पेक्ट टू द एनालिसिस ऑफ द पास्ट ईयर एग्जाम्स एंड इन केस यू एनी क्वेरी यू कैन राइट एन ई मेल टू अस ऑन क्रैक आर बी आई एट द रेट जी मेल डॉट कॉम और लर्नो फाइव एट द रेट जी मेल डॉट कॉम सो बेसिकली नो आई स्टार्ट विद वॉट वी हैव कवर्ड इन द नोमेरिकल पार्ट सो द फर्स्ट थिंग इज दैट वी स्टार्ट विद अ वेरी बेसिक थिंग ऑन द सिंपल इंटरेस्ट है सो वी कवर टू नोमेरिकल्स दैट इज नोमेरिकल वन एंड नोमेरिकल टू ऑन द सिंपल इंटरेस्ट दो दे माइट नॉट बी क्वेश्चन ऑन द एग्जाम ऑन द सिंपल इंटरेस्ट बट इज दिस नोमेरिकल ऑन द सिंपल इंटरेस्ट will help you make the base for the further numericals that can be asked in the exam then we come on to the numericals which take into account compounding and we start with the basic compounding which is annual compounding so here also we do 2 to 3 numericals so numerical 3 numerical 4 are based on compounding where the compounding is of annual type we solve the numerical in a very structured way where first we give the formula and then we solve that numerical step by step so that you don't have any difficulty in understanding what is going on so like here we give the formula then we explain what is there in the formula then we fill in the values and then we solve it step by step to reach the answer after doing numerical on compound interest where compounding is of annual type we move to a slightly difficult level where we do numericals on compound interest where compounding is not annual it's other than annual so the compounding may be sam annual the compounding may be quarterly the compounding may be monthly so here also we cover a lot of numericals like numerical 5 is basically a numerical which will help you to understand compounding on semi annual basis the michael 6 is a numerical which will help you understand compounding on quarterly basis and then the michael 7 is also a different flavor of quarterly compounding so basically these three numericals will help you understand the concept what happens if the compounding is not yearly but is either quarterly or the monthly or it or it's semi annual in exam there is a good probability that questions would be asked on the compounding which is either quarterly or a semi annual or a monthly compounding so this part is very important where you need to understand the concept of compounding on a quarterly or a semi annual basis but till now we have covered numericals of compounding either yearly monthly or quarterly which have single cash flow then we move on to a compounding numerical of a different type that is numerical 8 where we consider multiple cash flows like here there are multiple cash flows so we do a different flavor here where multiple cash flows are involved in a compounding numerical so this type of question also can be asked in an exam this is mostly a question of a category where it would be of two marks in the exam so here you can see we have explained it in a detail what is happening for each value like first value then second cash flow then third cash flow so like this when you read this you will get a better idea and i am very sure that you will be able to absorb that concept next is that till now we have been doing numericals on finding either the total amount at the end of duration or the interest at the end of duration next we will help you discover how to resolve the numericals in which we have to find the rate of interest these are also very important so here also we do around 2 to 3 numericals numerical 9 numerical 10 numerical 11 on the rate of interest basically the same formula is being used but this is a different flavor next we do numericals how to find the future value of money 
Now future value of money is same as compounding. Earlier the compounding numericals what we have done in this document were based on finding mostly the interest part. So here we will find the total amount at the end of certain duration that what is the future value of money principal plus interest at the end of certain duration. So here also we will give you different flavors so that you can understand the concept. So we have three to four numericals in this section uh, which are based on this concept of future value of money. Well this is about simple interest and compounding interest. Next we move on to the numericals to find the effective rate of interest. So when I say that I have uh, deposited a certain amount with 5 or 8 percent per uh, annum interest which is compounded say semi-annually. So what is the effective rate of interest I am getting? I want to find that. So my 8 percent is, is getting compounded quarterly. So what is the effective rate? So these kind of numericals help you understand that and these are very important concepts. Every one of us go to the bank to understand what, what are the rates we are getting and then we try to find the best bank with, where we get the maximum return. So these are very basic calculations that you should know even in your daily routine. So here also we cover some flavors. The basic flavor is that only we have one rate of interest given uh, which is uh, on the compounding either uh, semi annual or quarterly basis. So you have to find the effective rate of interest. Next is a numerical where uh, we try to compare the different rate of interest with different compounding frequency and try to find the best one. So here like in this numerical we have four rate of interest 14%, 13.75 like this and we have different compounding frequency for each rate. So here you want to tell that which one of these option will give you the maximum return after one year. So this is a very good uh, concept and there can be numerical asked on this concept in the exam also. Till now we covered the future value of money part then we move on to the present value of money part. This is also as important as the future value of money. So we describe you the basic meaning of present value of money. The formula remains the same. The formula for future value of money can also be used for the present value of money. So it's basically the same formula. So in, in present value of money also we try to cover different flavors. First we will start with the numericals to find the present value of money with single cash flow. So in these numericals you would be given a single cash flow, a certain rate of interest and duration and you would have to find the present value of money like in numerical 17. Then uh, to attempt the same numericals uh, we do compounding other than annual say here half yearly or quarterly. So numerical 8 will, 18 will take that into account so it becomes another flavor of the present value of money. Then we move on to numericals on present value of money with multiple cash flows. So this is also an important flavor. So in numerical 19 we will cover that if there are multiple cash flows coming in the future what will be the present value of money of all those cash flows taken into account. Then we will uh, cover how to find the rate of interest in numericals based on present value of money concept. So here instead of finding the present value of money, the present value of money would be given and instead you will have to find the rate of interest. So numerical 20 and 21 would be based on finding the rate of interest. And then next we move on to an important concept of annuities. This is very important guys. Annuities is basically, it's not only a numerical thing, even an objective question can be asked on like what are annuities or perpetuities. Here we only cover the annuities part, the other part on the perpetuities we will cover in the bond part. So it's good that you first understand the concept of what are annuities here. Then we present 
the formula for annuity is here like how to calculate the annuities then we cover some basic numericals on these so this was about annuities on the present value of money then we also discuss the annuities on the future value of money so here you will get certain cash flows starting from the first year till the end of last year like say from first to the fifth year and you have to calculate the value at the end of fifth year so here we consider such a numerical where we have to calculate the value of all the cash flows which are similar at the end of certain years so here also we present a formula for calculating the future value of annuities and then we present some numericals like numerical 24 which is on the future value of annuities so basically at the end of the document we are sure that you will be very comfortable with this topic this will set the base for you to understand the numerical and other topics also and this topic is very big you may attempt around 500 numericals and still uh, there might be some flavor left but we have tried to cover the most important flavors for the exam and even if there is a different flavor in the exam we are very sure I again say that we are very sure you will be able to attempt those numericals because the flavors we have covered here are very important are very different and they will set the, set the tone for you to understand or to grasp the basic concept of time value of money and once you understand the concept, it's not about the flavor, it's just about your understanding. So thank you guys. I hope this was helpful to you. And once you start reading our content, you will really find it useful. Apart from that, I repeat, in case you have any queries, then you can contact, contact us on any of the following. You can mail us on crack RPI at the at gmail.com you can write us also at our email learnofi at the gmail.com you can visit our website www.adutab.co.in you can register and find some free material you can go to our youtube channel adutab there are a lot of free videos uploaded there which will help you analyze the pattern of the exam from the previous year and help you strategize for the next year you can visit our blog www.rbigreatbeat.wordpress.com You can follow that blog. We keep continuously posting there to help our students prepare for the exam. Thank you. Thank you very much. Bye. Happy learning.